Like that record is kind of multifaceted because uh, it was done three times. It was originally my solo record. <clears throat> you know, I recorded in the basement yelling. You know what I'm saying? Just frustrated one day. Like, so it had, well, did you come from a situation like yo fuck this? Yo, the situation. I tell a lot of people they they um they laugh. Um, you remember the tunnel? Yeah. <clears throat> the tunnel, the hardest, best place to be back then. Star studded. You know, straight raw dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was the first night. Um, I can't say the first night, but when they started a 300 ladies free thing, <laughs> that changed the game. Changed the game. <laughs> changed the game. So I never forget. We passed the block, and they had a strategy. They let the they let the women wait. So the men are passing, going, "Oh my God!" <laughs> it don't matter what the cover charge is, you're gonna pay because you see what's about to happen. So I never forget the night <clears throat> we go in there. I said, tonight I'm going to be the drunkest because this is different. 300 free off the rip. We getting washed, bent over. It got so packed. I said, this is, a, this is all win because it was more women than men. So me at that time, I, got, I had on a little leather outfit. I was doing my little, I don't know, little fake Michael Jackson type of mm -hmm. fly shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Got something from Ford and Roll. Not Michael Jackson, but you know the leather. The, yeah, you know the yeah, leather yeah, at the time. Yeah. But you know, I had the little collar. So mm -hmm. I felt I was on some little, was fly. I was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson bad, huh? So I never forget. Um, I want to say again, I just, that was too twisted, but I know Biggie. And then was in the house. You know, I didn't know Biggie them at the time. We wasn't even on. This was just regular. And the vibe in there changed with the women. So the average night, you don't get me wrong, everybody doing them, but the one I was looking at, light skin, red bone, Brooklyn joint. I'm like, yo, I'm on shorty. I walk up to her. As soon as I went to open my mouth, no broke ass niggas, not tonight. <laughs> Everything is over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing that <laughs> over there is where Puff and, and, and I'm sitting there like, and I'm like, and I was speechless. Yeah. Remember the whole vibe that I thought it was a winning night because yeah. the whole, she took my whole soul and I was like, damn, I'm not bad. And I just lost my, she stripped my whole confidence. And I just sat back and sipped the whole night. I was frustrated. <laughs> when I got home, I just went in. Why you can't buy? That was the energy behind that. Oh, man. <laughs> so it came from a place of, and it was compounding. These type of women, specific women that most of us young black men is trying. We want that. We want what you like. You want what you want. Right, right. But the ones that you want is get up out of here, you broke ass nigga. Mm. Get some money, man. Yeah. And see, and that's why I think it's interesting because, you know, you got that's that's a, a conversation going around a lot online, especially right now. You know, you got like dudes like Kevin Samuels, you know, now kind of like speaking back as a counter to that. And it's just like all this, you know, men versus female energy happening. So it's just interesting to see that that's still, you know, that conversation still happens. Right it's just now. It's, to me, it's, it's bad. Like you could think it. But they was power phrasing it. They, they, when, they, when they set out to hit you with that, it hurts. Yeah. Like, damn, I'm inadequate. You start feeling like, yo, what am I going to do? Because that's what I want. Mm. But they shitting on you. And that energy is what produces that thing. So that's why people like us at that time, men was gravitating because nobody knew how to express that. We as artists right. said, nah, we, we, this is what we're thinking right now. Fuck you. <laughs> by, by me, you know what I'm saying? That's what we thinking to yeah. that type of woman. Right, right, so right. men like yourself at the time is like, yeah, yeah. that's what I feel. <laughs> Ain't nobody giving me that because everybody's just trying to sell a record, making everything look good mm. and feel good just to get in. No, yeah. speak what you want. And when I came to find out that was the interesting part that made them like us, I yeah. said, oh, it's lit. Y'all like when I talk like this. Because now when I... Don't get me wrong, we wasn't on after that song, or I wasn't on after that song I, I made. People just started going, yo, Kirk, that's your hottest joint. I'm like, it's my hottest song? So, so um, what I look like came before? The King Kirk version. Okay. I, I put it out, and um, I dropped a little EP, 
and No Hood started feeling it. I put it on vinyl. The vinyl was flying off the shelves. Mm. People was calling me. Record pools was going, yo, I don't know what this record is. So around that time, we was making a little traction. And then 40 Thieves, I formed a group. Because I was, I was trying to do more like a little compilation thing at the time, me being a producer. You a compilation dude. Yeah, <laughs> bring, bring the energy together. Word, word. Because I felt I'm better with more than just myself. Right, That's right. just how I feel today. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, as I was formulating the whole sporty thing, sporty thief thing, that record was just always my, my, my record that everybody went, yo, that's your hardest, but I like where you're going. So when I formulated Sporty Thieves and things started to grow, I kind of knew one day we might have to merge that record with the, with the sporty thing, but I just didn't have a reason. Right. It was just my classic that I had before anything. Mm -hmm. And then skip all the way to Pigeons. When Pigeons went to the roof, Flex was like, yo, we need another record. I looked in his eyes, said, you sure? You ready for another record? <laughs> he said, yeah. I said, I got it. Yeah. He said, I said, fuck, I look like. He scratched his head, fuck, I look he like. He heard it already at that point? This was the deep part. I said the verse. He said, oh, shit, that's that record. When I'm in um, Patterson, New Jersey, they love that record out there. I was like, that's the soul. I was like, because I didn't even know. That's Me and my vinyl was already moving. Flex already mm -hmm. heard it as King Kirk, the solo artist. Wow. I was like, yeah, I'm going to put the thieves, put all of us on there. And then I did the remix with all of us on there. So the version that everybody knows now is actually the remix. That's the remix. Mm -hmm. The version um, with myself is the original version. Copy. And they can find the um, the solo version with you on the... You can actually catch that, too, if you type it in. Type in original. Copy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, <laughs> so um, why didn't that make it on the first album? You know what? At that time, again, it was still my solo song. We wasn't in that attitude, in that mode. Not the same, that zone. It was more like... First of all, we didn't know that lane. We were in creation mode. Yeah. Anything we were straight street cinema storytelling when we was trying to formulate the sporty thieves. Mm -hmm. So that was just my old record. It was a classic. It wasn't like you're currently do that over with the thieves. If anything, that was the cheapskate right. that we tried to put in the sporty thieves project. So the same energy was, you know what, Kirk, you you did, you got this alter ego right here, mm -hmm. and cheapskate was the version for sporty thieves. Yeah. So fuck, I look like was still just my solo. I actually had a solo deal that came through that. Record, dope before, solo. Before Sporty. Right as Sporty signed. They wanted King Kirk the solo artist because of that record. Mm. And contractually, they was like, nah, conflict of interest, which I still think should have happened. It would have yeah. been like a mini. Like in today's de deals, they would have figured that out. Hell yeah, because that would have just made more energy right. towards the entity of what we were trying to create. But mm. again, contractually and all that other legal bullshit yeah, didn't happen. Yeah. 